before Black History Month is over. Gotcha. Does Django count? No. Is that a black movie? No. Quentin Sarantino? Who? <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Dear Life 101, and if this is your first time, well then welcome. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to uh, say, give us a thumbs up if we do or say anything at any time that you like, that way YouTube knows that we're doing our job and keeping you super entertained. And last but not least, let's hit that subscribe button. Yeah. So this Friday, we will be talking about culture. And uh, I thought it was like a pretty interesting topic with everything going on today. And uh, we, we obviously don't come from the same culture. Um, yeah, because he needs to further explain that he's Mexican. As if we couldn't tell already. <laughs> so what's, what is the deal? Why? You have so many like Mexican shirts or Mexico shirts. That's true. Yeah, why? Um, I'm just very proud. I want to say that, that I'm very proud to being Mexican. Um, I grew up in a neighborhood where it wasn't too diverse. There were more Italian people than anything I want to say that. Oh really? Italian and then blacks and then everything else pretty much. And just growing up, you know, it was just a little bit, um, I guess, it was weird to hear uh, people talk about like they did have a certain view about Mexican people mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that and it did kind of make me feel bad so growing up it was like a little bit uh, troublesome just feeling bad about hearing that someone speaks bad about what you are kind of thing yeah and definitely. this is just as a kid and sometimes you just don't know what to do or what to say kind of thing um, I definitely remember going through the same thing in definitely uh, in high school for sure because um, it was like predominantly white kids and there's like a handful of black kids and you know the whole where I'm from that just like whole um, town because it's a town mm -hmm. just really it does just suck I got so bad for some kids I know that there was like this boy and this black boy he was like he was black and white but you can tell he's black at okay. the end of the day and he just hated being black so much and you could just tell from some of the comments that he would make like he would dye his hair blonde and then just like i said with the comments of just not being black he'd randomly just go you can't even tell i'm black really yeah wow. and like and i just feel bad like kind of like talking like that about yeah, him like yeah, talking yeah, this yeah. about him because it's like you're a kid a and thing. you don't yeah. know how to handle it and that's how he chose to handle it but my point of telling that story was that it's it hurts you know First of all, I think that maybe you should have grown up in Tucson, Arizona, and then I should have grown up in New York. Ooh, but then we would have been statistics. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> statistics. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe that's how we like each other. You did, because you grew up with a bunch, like a lot of black kids, right? And I clearly grew up with a bunch of Mexicans. Yeah. And here we are. I will tell you how I feel about your culture, what I think about your culture. So, I, I don't know, I just always have loved Mexican culture because I think it's so pretty and it's like so vibrant and colorful and um, what, what's like family oriented that that movie Book of Life hands yeah. down one of my favorite movies movie. ever yeah. like not even just like kids movies but just it's like movie, just overall, overall yeah. just a good, it's a good movie and I think that that culture is, is just so beautiful and another thing too I like um, is Day of the Dead and I think it's like, it's funny because I think a lot of people hear that who obviously aren't Mexican and think just like Halloween and like dark yeah. and dead people. And it's not that, it's actually like a very beautiful, like rem remembering yeah. your loved ones yeah, and there definitely. are candles lit and you're offering Offerings, bread yeah. that I didn't know I wasn't supposed to eat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I... <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I like about um, the Mexican culture. Okay. So... <clears throat> Go ahead and tell me about my culture. Okay. It's Black History Month, by it the is way. Black History Month. Clap for me. But it just sucks that you the get shortest month. Yeah, shut up. Days. You guys are also family oriented, and and you guys just bring everybody though. Everybody. I feel like there's always somebody new that you have. To yeah, meet. and then we just call him a cousin. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I like that that you guys do the. Uh, Family reunions. Oh yeah! Everyone gets their invite. Heads out there, and the food that they have: your mac and cheese, your greens, 
some beans. What are they called? What kind of beans are they? Um, black eyed peas. No, or the, the sweet beans that that I like. Baked beans. Baked those, beans. Those no. are good. Yams are good. Chicken's always good. So Soul food is delicious. Yeah. What we hear now, like music wise. And Talented musicians. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. And, and how? Yeah, that's where. That's like originators. Everybody from like the seventies that came up. Now, so I have to bring up what's going on today in 2017, especially you being a Mexican. Is there anything that, how, how do you I feel? feel? How are you feeling? Well, I want to say that luckily, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's so true sometimes that it's like, I mean, there is a bigger battle, but a lot of people just tend to say like, well, if it's not affecting me, then yeah, I kind of overlook it, which isn't a good point of view to have. But that's just a blessing in its own, you know, like, that's just the start, I guess. So right. I'm just happy that my family isn't directly affected with it. Because um, you guys are documented. Yeah, yeah, because we are documented. <laughs> and I have so much family that did it, you know, the illegal way. Um, got their paperwork going. But everybody that I know that came here was not here for a bad reason, you know. Like oh, everybody yeah. was just trying to make their so way to a better life. So here's my thing with that. They did not come here for a bad reason. Do you feel like because of like Donald Trump's speeches and calling them like Mexicans rapists and murderers that, you know, I've had this conversation to other people who are Donald Trump supporters and they go, well, he, okay, he didn't like mean everybody. True. Maybe we shouldn't take everything that he says so literal and you just know what? try to be offended. Because it adds to that, but I know that something has to happen because you can't just say that and expect results out of that. No. It's going to be fine. I will never fine. accept that argument. Well, he didn't mean that. No, you are the president of the United States. Say what you mean and mean what you say. If I keep that as my goal in life, me, me just being me, I try really hard to say what I mean and mean what I say. As the president, that for damn sure better be your job. At least. I feel like as... The President of the United States, you should be very careful with what you say because you have so many people looking up to you and I think that people unfortunately actually did take it literal yeah. and really were like, oh, like, and I, I've heard them repeating it like on YouTube, like you can find any video of like Donald Trump supporters, you know, talking about, oh, you guys are murderers and rapists and you guys need to go back to your country. You right. know, so and I'm sure you're right. I'm do you sure feel the same mean, way? Do you think yeah. people are really feeling like they're murderers and rapists? Uh, the people who aren't informed, definitely, which are a lot of people that are misinformed. So, yeah. Give me a ratio, like percentage of people that you are taking Donald Trump's word, like Donald Trump's sentence word for word, or people that understand it's not all Mexicans. Percentage um, out of a hundred people that support, or a hundred percent that support him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a good 63%. Wow. Maybe, I would say are uninformed. Really? So mm -hmm. 63, you, you think that 63% of Donald Trump supporters do have this, this thought that Mexicans are rapists and murderers. That is awful. And the funny thing is, I don't know if anyone's ever stopped to think like, well, they're coming over here illegally. They're probably not the one committing crimes. They're probably trying to keep it low. They're probably trying to keep a low profile, and I really, you know, we went back and forth with that commercial during the Super Bowl, the 84 lumber, lumber or whatever the number was. Yeah, um, I just, the only thing I'm going to say about it is that I like they showed a mother and her daughter. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because I don't know who you thought were coming over here. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, well, who, what did you right. picture? Exactly. You know, so I, I, that's the only thing I like about that commercial, that and I'll true. leave it at that. that is um, so I think that, like, we've discussed... You know, quite a bit. We, like I said, we talked about our upbringings. We talked about what's going on today and some struggles. So let's end it on a happy um, Black History Month. Let's praise me. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, tell me some one a favorite Black movie. Guilty pleasure one. Jump in the broom. <laughs> um, <laughs> Funny one probably has to be Friday. Fri I any love Friday. Those. Oh, it's so good. Any any of the Fridays trilogy. Yeah. You, soul food. You like what's love got to do with it and soul food? Cool. 
Um, I really, color purple is gonna, I just feel like that's a really big downer. So I'm gonna be, still might like it. It's just kind of harsh. But I really want you to see The Temptations. Oh, okay. That's my movie. We're gonna watch that soon. Okay. Before Black History Month is over. Gotcha. Does Django count? No. Is that a black movie? No. Quentin Sarantino? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Quentin Sarantino. <laughs> Good one, babe. That should be. You're like, cool. Quentin Sarantino? That, that'd be good. Anyways. All right, let's. We're about oh, wait, to end. Oh, wait. So, since I said your movies, what Mexican movies do you know besides Selena? <laughs> I know Ricky! Life. Ricky! What is it? I don't know. Bitty Bitty Bamba. No, no. It's. What's that? It's a song. La Bamba. La Bamba. So I know about La Bamba. And then I know Carlito's Way. That's not Mexican. Oh, shit. That's just a gangster movie. Al Pacino's Italian. Oh. No. <laughs> but it's about... He's it's about... supposed to be like a... Hat, no, what's the Mexican hat? boy that runs and, and they kill his girl? He's not Mexican. That's Carlito. That's, I would think Mexican. everyone's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> You're Mexican. You're Mexican. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay. I've got to make you watch some movies. Okay, yes. Cool. Okay. Once there's a Mexican month, I will watch some movies. So, that's it for this video. We hope that you enjoyed. So let's go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if there's anything that you want us to talk about that you think would be fun to hear from both of us, um, go ahead and leave some comments down below. Other than that, subscribe. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>